How's it going everyone? Woods Farm here. Got a little problem with one of the cars. Um, starting to get really cold out and I uh, went to plug in the car and uh, pulled out the, the uh, plug for the block heater and that's what I found. It had uh, fallen loose and I guess it was dragging on the road you know probably all summer long and it was uh, ground right down so that's no good and it had a quick release uh, at one end and the cords you know about 16 inches long went to the parts store I thought maybe I could just pick one up and uh, went to the parts store in the US they wanted $37 US for this thing which would have been you know I don't know 45 bucks Canadian not a chance I mean that's a ripoff so I went down to crappy tire and uh, I got a couple of these I'm gonna use this one I think it was around nine bucks eight or nine dollars so we're just gonna quickly install this on the end and we'll be back up and running I mean, to me, this is pretty basic, but a lot of people out there won't know, you know, might be a little uh, hesitant to do something like this, but uh, it's pretty easy to splice on these new uh, new plugs. So yeah, you don't need a lot of tools. You could probably just do it with an X-Acto knife and a screwdriver, but uh, I got a pair of uh, side cutters, screwdriver, X-Acto knife, I might not need that. Strippers, these are hand, come in handy, so good to have a set of these if you can, but you don't need them. First things first, I'm going to cut the old end off as close as I can. Done. Now there's, if you can see that, three wires, there's a hot neutral and a ground, and there's a rubber coating, sheathing, I'm going to strip that off. Before I go ahead and cut off the sheathing, I'm going to uh, take this plug apart just to see what I'm dealing with, that way I know how much uh, wire I'm going to need to expose. So it's looking like I'm going to need about an inch and a half of wire. So that's where, what we're going to do. Just take your time cutting through the rubber there. And you just peel back the uh, rubber sheathing. Cut that off with a pair of scissors, your X-Acto knife for your side cutters. It's going to give me three wires. So you got your wire and you got your strippers. That's what we want to get down to something like that. Now, don't forget, these will have, there'll be different styles of these plugs, so they'll usually have like a, a cap or something that you got to slide on first. Um, so you want to make sure you do that. So the ground usually is going to have a green, a green tab, but you can see which one it's connected to. It's connected to the ground prong if it doesn't actually ha have a color-coded tab on it. So once you get the ground hooked up, then you're just gonna attach the, the other two wires.
And that's it. Here are three wires connected. The black and the white wire, my experience is they can go either way. Uh, you just want to make sure you get the ground one in the right place. And you're good. So you see I got the cover on the wire. I'm just going to slide it up and over. Line it all up. This one has three screws that hold it in place. So you can see those three screws are tight. And then this one had has a, a clamp that goes on the back of the wire right here. Give it a little extra support. See how you just get the clamp on there, both sides, tighten it up. Clamps down on the wire. That's it. Just tighten these up evenly on both sides. So clamps down with even pressure. Done. All fixed up, good as new. So I just gotta reinstall that on the car. Just gotta plug that end in and I'll be able to get the block heater up and running again. Thanks for watching, hopefully this helped. Um, as always, if you wanna see more videos from the Woods Farm, please like and subscribe.